guys, what's going on? It's Greggles TV. Today I'm going to show you how to install and set up Firestarter. Firestarter is a launcher that allows you to easily see your side loaded apps and it also allows you to create shortcuts with the home button and the back button so that you can launch apps quickly and easily. So first thing you want to do is go into settings and then go into system and you want to go to about and then network and you want to grab your IP address because we're going to install this fire via ADB fire. You can also install this via the SD card. If you guys want to see that just let me know in the comments down below. Other than that just hit back go into developer options and make sure all three of these are turned on and then you are ready to rock and roll with the installation. First thing you want to do and I'll put this link in the description is go to this website and then click the APK. It's going to ask you to save it. So what you'll do is just save that. The next thing you want to do is go to Google and Google ADB Fire and then click on the first link. It should be right here. And again, I'll put this in the description. Once you click that, you want to download it. So download it, the newest version they have. Begin download. Choose a primary server. Save. Once that's done downloading, you want to unzip it. So just go to where you saved it. Once you have it unzipped, just open up the folder and launch ADB Fire. Once you have ADB Fire open, you want to make sure you set up the you want to make sure you set up the current device so that it has your correct IP address. If you can remember before, the IP address was 192.168.0.107, so this is good. Next, you want to connect to it. So just hit connect. And then you want to hit install APK. And you want to go to where you save that APK. You want to double click the APK. It's going to say, do you want to install it? You're going to hit yes. Now we'll watch the progress bar go by and we'll wait for it to say it installed correctly. All right, so hit OK. And that's now installed. So now let's go back to the Fire TV. Now that we're back on the Fire TV, you want to go down to settings, applications manage applications and then look for the fire starter and launch it alright guys so once you have the app open go and do settings and then go down here and you'll see home button single clip single click application so you can just click that and you can see that fire starter when you single click the home button it should open up the fire starter which is this and then you have double click home button so what I'll do is I'll choose TVM I'll choose TVMC just to show you TVMC is similar to Kodi and you can do that with any app right there uh, there's a bunch of other settings in here too if you want import export let's check out it shows you your apps which is this is going to be like your launcher and then a bunch of other stuff you can check for updates in here all right so let's hit the home button so I'm gonna hit the home button from here and let's see if fire starter opens so you can see fire starter opens when you hit the home button so you get to all your apps right here or if you double click my home button it should go right into TVMC and it does guys that is the Firestarter app just follow the directions if you want to install it if you want to install it via SD card you can just save it to you. put the SD card in your computer save it and then put it in the back of the Fire TV if you have a Fire TV 2 and uh, open up ES File Explorer go into the SD card and install it guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys down the road peace